So the other day when we were at the store, we decided to try this new wine. It's really expensive. So I was thinking at first that maybe we should just use, you know, the nice glasses. But I thought, no way, that is just not good enough for this wine. Let's break out the red Dixie cup. Because we got Chocovino. That's right. The taste of Dutch chocolate and fine red wine. I mean, what could be better than chocolate already mixed in your wine? So let's get started. So, um, the checker at Smith's told us that it was really good, but I don't know how much of a wine connoisseur that the checker at Smith's is. So, my first thoughts, um, maybe I should have actually gotten a clear glass, but, um, it smells kind of like chocolate milk. It's kind of the consistency of chocolate milk. And she said it tastes kind of like a mudslide. Yeah, she said it tastes kind of like a mudslide, so hopefully I won't gag yeah, too much. That <laughs> good, huh? Did you mix it first? Are you supposed to mix it? I don't know. You don't normally mix normal wine, but... Well, yeah, but this is chocolate, you know? <laughs> so... It's like eating chalky chocolate... Brendan! Rubbing alcohol. It smells kind of like whiskey. Don't you think? No. Yeah, it smells kind of like wild turkey. So there you have it, folks. Two people both tried the uh, Chocovino. And I am a wine connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think I'm going to give it a half out of five stars. A half a star being that if you're, um, you know, hard up for some alcohol and you're sick of drinking Listerine, this would probably be the next after Listerine on the list of what you want to drink. It's pretty... So Lauren says that um, she read the bottle and it says shake well, so we're going to have to give it another try because um, I didn't read the instructions. I'm a guy. What do you expect of me? I think it's worse. <laughs> That's why you never follow the instructions. It's worse, isn't it? Just more milky? I think I'm going blind. <laughs> Yeah, it's just thicker. Still tastes like rubbing it alcohol. It stings more. Yeah, it's not good. So half of a there you go. Half of a half of a. But half of a. we also decided, as an added bonus, we're gonna try um, this scotch because the mother-in-law gave it to us. Well, my mother-in-law gave it to us. That would be Lauren's mother, not not her mother-in-law. Anyway, and um. I'm not really much of a scotch person, but then again, I've not really drank much scotch. So, I always wanted to be cool and drink scotch out of a rocks glass. Um, there's, there's... Holy crap, they childproof the bottle. Who would have thought? So, I guess we get some ice. Do we do crushed or cube? I'm going to do crushed. It actually doesn't smell that bad. Do I need to put more in there? No, because I'll probably smell it and throw it. <laughs> Wonderful. It doesn't smell that bad. You just put your fingers yeah, all over the lens. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I 
kind of tastes like the uh -huh. inside of a wooden barrel. Uh -huh. Like, a lot. Like, I know it was aged for 12 years inside of a wooden barrel, but... It tastes like... Who one. would want to drink wood? <laughs> it's a little bit smoky. Just the smell, like, makes me want to roll. Go over by the sink. We should record every time we take, uh, we try new wine and... Did you even taste it? I put my tongue in it. Don't put your tongue in the glass. Throw me backwash into it? No, I can't even take a sip of it after just the pressure. Come on, pussy, do it. No. Peer pressure. Peer pressure doesn't make friends. <laughs> I can't take it. I so... A little whiskey with a little mix of whiskey. And I don't whiskey. So, what do you guys think about me putting this as kind of a regular feature on the vlog where um, we try maybe new foods or drinks or um, other stuff maybe that I don't know about yet? And then we'll tell you what we think about them because you know you love my opinion. And I will shove it right down your throat. Just kidding. I won't do that. Okay. Uh, tell me what you think. Leave a comment or video response. Like everybody else says, even though you're not going to do it. Because I know you people. I know all four of you that watch. So, if you don't leave me a comment, I'm going to be very disappointed. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Three, two, one. And, uh... Is that good? Three, two, one. So what do you guys think? Uh, I could do this kind of on a... Uh... This is why you don't film with the baby in the room.